So, what's the problem, you say? This is a Seiko 6139 Pogue chronograph air complex watch. It's been completely restored, the body, the crystal, um, the movement was taken out, it was completely disassembled, then cleaned, and then reassembled, oiled, and it's running fast. So, I suspect it's the hairspring, um, and in this video we're going to have a look at the hairspring. So to work on the um, so to work on the hairspring mechanism, the first thing I had to do was remove the auto wind mechanism from the watch, which included the uh, that bridge and the also the rotor, and then I was able to basically. You put the screwdriver into this small opening here, and you can turn the uh, the ratchet wheel of the mainspring this way, and then you take the other screwdriver, and there's a small click mechanism here, and you hold that click me mechanism back while you release um, the mainspring. So. So you can't release tension on the mainspring without taking the auto wind mechanism out. And now that the tension on the mainspring is gone, and I'm able to actually uh, remove the balance cock from the watch. Let me turn on the light here and see if I can get a little bit more light here. So yeah, so anyway, the, and the balance cock, I can just, I should be able to just pull it right out of here. I don't want to take out, take the watch movement out. I'm just uh, seeing if I can do this in situ without taking the movement out. That would be very nice if I could do that. And I don't have to worry about putting the movement back in again, which is a bit of a pain with these particular watches. Because they have a couple of push levers there. And I'm trying to make sure that when I put these screws Way. I put them away on the side and, and they're out of reach of my hand because um, I've been known to actually um, grab or put my hand down on the screw and causing the uh, screw to, to actually come out. So there's the balance lock here and I'm seeing if I can just remove this. Um, very gently. I don't want to screw up the hairspring any more than it's already screwed up. There we go. Now, so I've got this pretty much removed, but it's being a bit of a pain. And there we go. And so now it's out. I can move this watch aside. And I've got a very clean mat here, so I'm just going to put it down on the mat for a second. What I want to do is examine the hairspring to see if it's uh, in good shape. And as you can see, it isn't. So I'll just get a close up of that after. So what I can see is that the hairspring is bunched up on one side and, and that and it's not bunched up on the other. So it's kind of an irregular thing here. It's been distorted, I guess, over the years. And um, so I'm going to re remove the hairspring from the uh, balance cock to have a better look. And to remove the hairspring, I think Mark has made a great video on this and I've got the world's smallest screw right here. I'm hoping that my screwdriver actually fits in there because it's so my it's so tiny that uh, yeah it seems to be working. So this screw actually holds a stud in place. I'm trying to move my finger out of the way so you can see the video. So what I'll do is I'll unscrew this, this little screw here, and then this will re re allow the stud to release. Okay, one last step I had to do was just slide the hairspring out of the regulator arm, and there's a, a small little, uh, looks like it's brass pin here, and the hairspring has to slide in between the pin and this big chunk of brass here. And that's the regular arm, and the regular arm just slides along that hairspring, which effectively 
shortens or lengthens the, the, the actual length of the hairspring, which uh, regulates the amount of rotation here on the balance. And the amount of rotation of the balance um, will change ever so slightly, which will regulate the speed at which the balance um, oscillates. So I've taken a big piece of pegwood, cut off an end piece, and so I can rest the pinion into the pegwood. As you can see, the coils on the hairspring on one side here are touching. And if I push the hairspring with my screwdriver over to this side just a bit, you'll see that they're touching on this side now. They're bunched up over here. Um, I suspect that this hairspring has magnetism on it. It's magnetized. So I have to demagnetize this hairspring um, before I reinstall this unit. It's clean as I've cleaned it in an ultrasonic cleaner and it absolutely looks like these coils kind of snap together as I move see that as I move the hairspring I pushed it these ones just snap together so that would in effect shorten the hairspring as a touch which would not allow it to be free to uh, to allow the uh, balance to rotate at an amplitude of about 250 hopefully so I will do that. I'll demagnetize this hairspring and I will reinstall this unit um, and, I'll, and then I'll reinstall the uh, auto wind mechanism on the Seiko and I may have just fixed the problem.